I've never seen the roads this bad, and every anybody else you talk to, they've never seen them this bad either. My great grandfather Chaz and my my grandfather Chester, and then my dad. You know, we're fourth generation farmer right now, so I mean, we've been been at it for a while. But the fields have dried off pretty well. But uh, as far as the roads, the roads around here are pretty well all all shot. And we've talked with FEMA here. Um, couple days ago and they're still having a more of a wait and see approach and we've been filing paperwork and more paperwork it seems like there's been more phone calls than there actually has been people coming out and actually taking a look at the roads and and coming up with a with a solution to fix the problem a lot of the problem is not only you know just for us as farmers to get our equipment up and down the up and down the roads but our school buses, um, my children, I've been hauling them to school for the better part of a month now because our school buses cannot get down the road. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll get there and I'll get there and we'll try. We'll survey it and then we'll we'll go get a tractor and see if we can get it off there or, or take the seat off or whatever we got to do. We'll get it out. nothing to it, it's just soup underneath there. These stretches of the road, there's been a lot of people. We had several trucks that have been through here and gotten stuck over in here in these roads and this is where we could use the money to get these dug up and get some rock base back down in there and cover them up with gravel because these spots aren't going to heal themselves. I mean they actually need something done to them so you get some officials out here that would actually come out and take a peek at some of these and get us some money so we can get some contractors in here to take care of spots like this to get them so at least passable I mean not only for for school for a school bus or the mail route or something but if somebody has a you know some older people in the country and stuff how do you get uh, ambulances or if a fire breaks out how do you get a fire truck down a road like this it's just uh, I think that our total infrastructure has been abused and 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 hasn't been uh, uh, taken a good hard look at for so long that that it's at the point now where where it, it needs some money thrown at it to make it to make it uh, uh, viable again. So it's definitely costing us money. It makes the day go a lot longer. I mean, we're going to have to you know unload trucks or whatever. Um, a lot of this farm equipment that we have nowadays is awful heavy, and the roads being as soft as they are, we uh, we just can't get from one place to the other without either getting stuck. Well, they're out there. That was the best of the best, and that one wasn't very good. I mean, every road to the farm here is pretty much in the same position. You, you hope for it to get through there, and obviously we didn't quite make it. So, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. That's the way agriculture has always been. Conditions are absolutely the by far the worst, worst I've ever seen them. Probably the worst they've ever been. like pudding. You drive on them and you look out the side when you're driving and you can see everything moving away from the wheels. And a lot of these roads were absolutely not designed for the weight that they're carrying or really designed with a lot of drainage in, in mind. And so they hold a lot of water, the ditches do. And when you have a water table that's absolutely completely charged, there's no place for that water to go down. In the end, they, we get it done.